Hey everyone, I'm Mears. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into the wide world of cyber chaos with the 10 biggest security breaches in tech history. From power grids going dark to hackers shutting down NASA, these stories are crazier than a cat on a caffeine rush. So buckle up, hit that like button, and let's get into it. And number 10, we had 2007 Estonia cyber attack. Imagine this, you're just chilling in Estonia, sipping your coffee, and suddenly, bam, the internet goes haywire. Banks, media, even government websites, all down. Why? Because Estonia decided to move a statue. Yes, a statue. The bronze soldier was relocated and someone didn't like that. Botnets flooded the country with spam and DDoS attacks, crippling everything. Researchers pointed fingers at Russia, but no one confirmed that. Moral of the story, don't mess with the statues or Estonia's internet. Honestly, this attack was like a digital temper tantrum. But hey, it makes our list because it showed how vulnerable entire countries can be to cyber warfare. Next up, at number 9, we have the 2015 Ukraine power grid attack. Picture this. It's December, freezing cold, and suddenly, lights out. But this wasn't your average blackout. Hackers targeted three energy companies, shutting down 30 substations and leaving 230,000 people in the dark. How would they do it? Phishing emails. Yep, those annoying you won a million dollars emails actually worked. Hackers got into the systems, flipped the switches, and boom, chaos. US investigators blame Russia, but honestly, it's like blaming your dog for eating your homework. No one's admitting anything. This attack was a wake-up call. If hackers can take down a power grid, they can pretty much do anything. At number 8, we have the 1999 NASA hack and the hacker, a 15-year-old kid. Yes, you heard that right. Jonathan James, the teenage prodigy, decided NASA's computers were his playground. He hacked into the U.S. Department of Defense, installed a back door, and intercepted over a thousand government emails. But he didn't stop there. He stole NASA software, cracked their systems, and even messed with computers supporting the International Space Station. NASA had to shut down their systems for three weeks. Imagine telling your boss, sorry, we can't go to space today. A teenager broke our computers. The damage? $41,000. Not bad for a kid who probably still had homework to finish. Coming in at number 7 is the 2014 Sony Pictures hack. This one's straight out of a Hollywood trailer. A hacker group called the Guardians of Peace leaked Sony's dirty laundry. Employees' emails, unreleased movies, and even future plans. But here's the kicker. They did it because of a movie. Yep, Sony's comedy film, The Interview, which joked about assassinating North Korea's leader, didn't sit well with someone. The hackers demanded Sony cancel the release, and guess what? They did. North Korea denied involvement, but let's be real. This was like a bad breakup where everyone knows who is at fault. The attack cost Sony millions and left us wondering, is nothing scared? Not even a comedy movie. At number 6, we have the 2006 TJX data breach. TJX, the parent company of stories like TJ Maxx and Marshalls, got hit hard. Over 41.6 million credit and debit card details were stolen. That's like the entire population of California losing their wallets. The breach happened over 18 months and the culprit? Weak web encryption. Hackers led by Albert Gonzalez exploited this flaw and went on a shopping spree with other people's money. Banks had to reissue thousands of cards and TJX learned the hard way. If you're going to store millions of credit card details, maybe don't use the digital equivalent of a potluck from a dollar store. And number five, we have the 2010 SoxNet worm. A cyber attack so sophisticated, it sounds like it's straight out of a spy movie. This wasn't your average malware. SoxNet was designed to destroy physical equipment. Yes, you heard that right. It didn't just steal data, it targeted Iran's nuclear infrastructure. It infected over 200,000 computers, including 14 industrial sites and a uranium enrichment plant. 
The war spread via Microsoft Windows and targeted Siemens control systems, causing centrifuges to spin out of control. Experts believe Sun 6 was a joint effort by the US and Israel intelligence. But of course, no one's admitting it. It's like the cyber equivalent of a secret handshake. This attack proved that malware could go beyond data theft and cause real war destruction. Coming in at number four is a 2014 Home Depot breach. Imagine this, you're at Home Depot picking out paint colors and suddenly your credit card info is stolen. Not exactly the DIY project you signed up for, right? Hackers stole 56 million payment card details and 53 million email addresses. How? They used a third party vendor's credentials to sneak into Home Depot's network and deployed custom malware on their checkout systems. Home Depot learned the hard way that even the biggest stores can have the smallest security holes. This bridge cost them millions and left customers wondering, is nothing safe? Not even a trap to buy a hammer? And number three, we have the 2011 PlayStation Network outage. Gamers, this one's for you. Imagine logging in to play your favorite game and boom, the network's down. For 23 days, Sony's PlayStation Network was hacked, compromising 77 million user accounts, personal info, passwords, and even credit card details, all exposed. Sony had to shut down the network, leaving gamers in the dark. Sony spent 170 million to fix the mess. That's a lot of loot boxes. But hey, at least they learned their lessons and beefed up their security. Still for gamers, it was like waiting for the next level to load forever. Number two, we have the 2017 WannaCry ransomware attack, a global cyber pandemic that spread faster than a viral cat video. This attack didn't just target one company or country. It hit 200,000 computers across 150 countries in a single day. WannaCry exploited a vulnerability in other versions of Microsoft Windows, locking users out of their systems and encrypting their data. The hackers demanded a ransom of $300 to $600 in Bitcoin per infected computers to unlock the files. Hospitals, banks, even government agencies were hit. It was like a digital zombie apocalypse. But here's the twist. A security researcher accidentally discovered a kill switch that stopped the attack in its tracks. Experts believe North Korea was behind this attack, but of course, they denied it. WannaCry caused billions in damages and reminded the world that updating your software isn't just a suggestion. It's a survival tactic. And finally, at number one, we have the 1999 Melissa virus, the granddaddy of all cyber attacks. This was a virus that started all, and it did so with a bang. Melissa was a mass mailing macro wires that spread via email. It looked like an important message, but once you opened the attachment, boom, your computer was infected. The wires would then email itself to the first 50 people in your contact list. It was like a digital chain letter, but way more destructive. Melissa caused 80 million in damages, disrupted a million email accounts, and even slowed down internet traffic worldwide. The creator David L. Smith was caught and sentenced to prison. But the Melissa's legacy lives on as the virus that showed the world just how vulnerable we are to cyber threats. It's the OG of cyber attacks and it earns the top spot on our list. And that's it folks, the 10 biggest security breaches in tech history. From power grids going dark to ransomware holding the world hostage. These attacks remind us that cybersecurity isn't just a buzzword, it's a necessity. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell for more tech content. Stay safe out there and remember, update your software folks. Until next time, keep learning and stay tuned. And I will see you in the next one.